Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the Call of Duty mobile video. So in today's video, as you guys read in the title correctly, we are going to be comparing the slug round versus a regular shotgun build to see what is better. And actually, surprisingly, you're going to be a little bit shocked, so make sure to watch till the end of the video. So this is actually going to be more or less from a stream. We tested it out on stream, and if you haven't, make sure to follow me on Trovo, which is my live stream channel, trovo.live slash dhman. It's going to be the first pinned comment. Not only that, we're super close to 5,000 followers, which is huge, and we will be giving away uh, a bunch of gift cards live on Thursday during our 24-hour stream. Make sure to follow that. But in this video, you guys will see that. And uh, if you guys do want to see a KN video, if we get to 400 likes, I'll release a KN video, just because there's not many options right now in the test server, but I don't want this portion of the video to be too long. All right, before we show you guys the rest of the stream highlights or video, we're gonna show you guys the two loadouts that we use and compare them. We're actually gonna show you guys footage on stream that is basically in the training room, which is a little glitch, but also some gameplay of, uh, you know, bot lobby, basically, because it's test server. But, as you guys will see, we're using a red action as our slug loadout. We'll check the gunsmith, as you guys will see. Those wondering what slug is, basically, instead of having the eight bullets you would have when you shoot, you only get one bullet. You lose out on the amount of bullets, but you get a damage boost as well as a damage range boost. Now, this is what we're rocking, kind of, more or less, the Marauder Suppressor, which is silence, damage range, and bullet spread density. Honestly, the main thing I try to do is the most damage range that you can get. And then afterwards, you have the, um, what's this called? The Extended Light Bearer, which is damage range, which, honestly, that's the only important part. We have the No Stock to increase the ADS speed and the Moon Speed. And then we're rocking the Laser Sight to increase your ADS speed. And then we have the Slug Round. Now, for our regular new shotgun build that I'm personally using, which I probably will do a specific video on that, differently because it's such a great build you guys will see it is our bri 15 with the eruption with our choke which increases your damage range as well as the bullet spread density which is the bullet spread density build that we're basically calling this which i think will be one of the best build for shotguns and we have also this one which is the same thing but you get the magazine capacity here plus the bullet spread and the damage range we are using the stalker which will increase the bullet spread density we also have the laser sight but this one is going to be similar to most of the other shotguns. I think this is a must if you ADS, because the ADS bullet spread density. And finally, we have the rare rear grip, which is also another ADS bullet spread density. So basically what we're trying to compare is, is it better to have a smaller bullet spread density and shoot long range shots, or is it better to have the slug round? And believe it or not, you guys will be super shocked. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the video. So this is no attachment equip whatsoever. You guys will see the damage, the spread, and everything. So. This is scope and spread, this is non-scope and spread. So obviously when you scope in, it's actually significantly better, which makes sense. Currently right now, it doesn't actually have any difference, but in here it does. Damage-wise, you will see 100, oh, we actually hit 200 damage, that's actually pretty nice. If you hit all the shots, but obviously if you hit fire, you're not gonna do the 200 because all the bullets spread. We do, uh, what's this, uh, 100 meters, you're not gonna one-tap anymore at 100 meters, I meant 10 meters. Bullet spread is pretty insane, you guys will see. And then at 20 meter, you shouldn't even be able to hit them. Exactly, all right. So now we're gonna go to the slug one. Uh, I'm actually gonna try something first, okay? I wanna see what, what's the damage per pellet. So if I shoot here, okay, 35 damage per pellet. So that's actually a, a buff. It's, it's a buff, 35 damage per pellet, because right now it only does 30. So that's a huge buff, because then right here you're 105 if you like hit the side. So that's pretty cool. So we're actually gonna check out the red action, which is a slug round. And you guys will notice one bullet. And you'll see the damage is, wait, it's 35. Okay, that's a glitch. It's not 35, it's actually supposed to be one tap. So, but I believe you can hit people up to 20 range. So yeah, you can. So you can see you can hit people up to 20, maybe, maybe 30, I doubt it. Oh, you can, wow. Gotta be accurate though, but. Oh yeah, the, the spread, it doesn't actually go exactly where you're at. When you go longer range, it has a chance to like go somewhere else, so you can see that. So, very, very tough to hit those accurate shots, but up to 20 meters. All right, this is our spread build. All right, so regular one, you can see it's probably like about the same. So the spread's about the same as a regular one, but when you scope in, that spread is insanely small. Look at that spread. Now, damage 280, which is good, right? Now, if we go to 100, a 10, it should still... Yeah, that's insane. Look at that spread. That spread is nothing. You still do like a, a 100 damage. You one tap. 20 meter, probably not going to hit anything, but you never know. Oh, yeah, that's a two tap at 20 meters. So, you can see right now the fact that... And then the bullet spread is actually... Well, obviously, hip fire is uh, 
not gonna be a, a very bueno thing, but that's pretty insane. So you, the potential you can hit it, and then I doubt 30 meters you hit anything here. You guys will see this is the BY15, the super spread. Bro. Just get behind me. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Bro, what the heck? If you hit like point blank. Oh, man. Where the heck does this guy go? Yeah, the rate of fire to shotgun did noticeably get nerfed, I can tell, compared to like what I usually play. Like, usually you can shoot way faster than that. The fact that you can... I'm just gonna prone real quick so I can reload these bullets. There's another guy here, right? Yeah, it, it's so much better for the scope in. If you don't scope in, it's kind of tough. Again, one more downside is the reload speed is kind of slow. But typically speaking, you can reload in between fights. This is just going to be like a high octane kind of gameplay. Okay, I didn't think I'd be able to hit. Oh, I do it. Wow, I actually almost killed him from there. Oh, wow. Oh, all right. Well, I got the nuke. It doesn't matter. I'm going to hold it off. I'm just gonna keep testing it. Oh, one shot kill. Yeah, I'm actually gonna run out of bullets, so. Eight more kills, I'll use a nuke. Ah. The thing is that it has pretty insane. I have one bullet in a dream. Oh! I got some kills there. I'm curious where they spawn. Bro. The thing is, it's like. Four bullets in a dream? Bro. Oh no. Let's hide here real quick. Yeah, and uh, the ADS speed is kind of slow, but that spread accuracy is, oh boy, beautiful. I hate that I keep making this go up. Well. Again, like, like I said, test servers all bots, but the fact that you can hit these crazy long range shots. Well, I got a double there. That's cool. Where y'all spawning? Oh, oh, that could have been really bad. Let me kill these guys. Even if those were real people, I mean bots, that was still pretty, pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie, that right there was kind of nutty. Okay, I didn't hit those shots there, but... No, 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 no. That is still... Uh, a pretty nutty boy. Pretty nutty boy. Bro, did you guys see that range? Oh my god. What the heck? If you if you tell me that shotguns can do that right now. Oh my god. Can we shoot that? Oh my god. Bro, 
This shoddy build is ridiculous, chat. We might win too fast, but whatevs. I'm hoping my team actually doesn't cap that. Was that triple nuke? Yeah, yeah, it was. We're gonna compare now to the, um, what's it called? The slug, all right? So this is a slug build. Okay, that didn't, that, that, uh... You gotta be pretty accurate. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. I thought I could shoot there. Oh my god, the accuracy you need to have on this is kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, in my opinion, the other build is substantially better. You can see, like, on the other build, I would have killed them there, but I, I did 98 damage on that. Another 98 damage. So, like, I... Oh, man. Yeah, it's like... I'm using the slug, yeah. Unless you get a headshot. Bro. Bro, what's wrong with my screen? Like, if I get a headshot, he'll die. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just whack. This is just... I was like... I was like, this other build is so much better. Because you don't have to be as accurate. You know what I mean? Press the knife button. Oh yeah, it is actually bothering me. I know it was going to bother you guys. Look at that, I freaking hit marker! Wrong? Did he kill himself? That didn't... Like, why would I use this if I can use the other build that I'm doing? So, slug is very underwhelming. I don't. I wouldn't recommend Slug for anybody if... What about Hipfire? I guess it's like not bad. I feel like potentially it could be good if you go on like a, a fast... Like, I'm, I move fast. Maybe if I don't ADS, might be a little bit better if I don't ADS. You know how much accuracy this requires? But like, again, why would you hit fire with this gun if you can hit fire with like a KRM? And keep in mind, this is the best range gun. Bro, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. Well. I was in such a close game. Yeah. Not a fan of the slug. And I've already known this, but I'm making the video for you guys to to know that this is not the wave. Like, that other shotgun build is way better, by the way. I didn't hit anyone? Shoot! I think my jump button is right too close to my shoot button. I'm accidentally clicking it. There you go. I, I mean, it could be impressive. But that other shotgun build was just way nicer. You know what I mean? Lol. It's gonna have to kill drones. Cool, cool, cool. Like, it could be really fun, but that other class just felt so much nicer. That guy didn't. That guy did not die. Sorry, Kenny. Rush on to the point. Oh, feels bad. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Do you guys like the slug better or the regular build? Personally, the regular build is going to be absolutely insane. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Kill it!